In this video, I'm going to reveal how I make over $1,000 a month selling stickers on Redbubble. I'll also be revealing a niche that you can start creating stickers for. And I'll also show you examples of shops that are doing well in this niche. And most importantly, I'll be talking about how you can do this too. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shots. I have only been in the game of Redbubble for less than a year and within that time, I now have multiple shops making over a thousand dollars a month. If you're someone who's hoping to have similar success on Redbubble or print on demand in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out when I if I do upload a new video and if you do go on to get any sort of value from this video a like rating would be very much appreciated also through the different tips and tricks I've gave to other people I've helped a lot of people reach their first sale on Redbubble I've helped other people start to get consistent sales on Redbubble so if you're looking for any extra information I have a free print and brand starter guide that's linked down in the description. However, if you're someone that's looking to make this more into a full-time thing, I have a paid step-by-step -step guide that will fast track you to print on demand success. With that said, here are five steps you need to follow if you want to increase your chances of being successful in selling stickers on Redbubble. So for step one, you want to choose a niche or find a trend that you think you'll be able to create designs for. Step two, you want to check the competition in that niche. So you want to make sure there isn't too many results. Step three, you want to check to see if there's sticker packs in this niche or in this trend. I will go on to speak a little bit more about this. Step four, you want to create multiple versions of your designs. And step five, in terms of your pricing, you want to make sure that your sticker margins are between 60% to 100%. Okay, so back with step one, like I said, you want to be able to find a niche or something that's trending that you can actually create designs for. Just to give examples, you have the nurse niche, the pet lover niche, election niche, the meme niche, the wine lover niche, or even the yoga niche. There's an endless list of niches you can get into. However, if you're someone that's looking for trends, Redbubble actually has an inbuilt trend checker, which I refer to as the A to Z method. And this is easy to use on Redbubble. You just go on the search bar, you type in a letter, and you'll see three suggestions for that letter with a little arrow for them. And they will be the main keywords that are trending for that letter. Just so I can help you guys understand this better, I'm gonna pick a niche and I'll show you the steps that you need to follow. Right guys, so this is the niche that I picked. So the nurse niche. Now, when you go on this, you can see that there's over a hundred thousand results. Now, when you're looking for a niche, you do not want the niche to be this big. So, what you do in this situation, you go onto the little tab at the top here and you go through these options till you find another option under nursing that has fewer results. So, fewer than 1,000 results. This right here is a sub niche of the nurse niche that I found and it is nurse grad. Now, when we look at the results, you can see here it has 861 results. And as it's less than a 1000, this means that there isn't too much competition in a niche that's already quite big. As we go through the designs, you can see there's a lot of text related designs that are in there, designs that are easy to create and that you guys can create in your own way if you really wanted to be a part of this niche. There's a lot of really simple designs here you guys can see which i'm sure a lot of you can create in your own way and as the nurse niche is pretty much an evergreen niche this is a niche you can see sell quite well for you going into the future so you can actually try out this niche if you haven't already now here we have emily's shop now she has custom designs a nice banner and a picture of herself that goes really well with the feel of her shop it makes it look professional it makes people feel welcome that are looking for things within this niche and one of her best-selling designs as you can see here is this nursing student tears image now this is something that could be a bit of an inside joke or just a joke to nurses because nurses work so hard and it's something that would sell within the niche now this is a bit more creative but i'm showing you guys this shop mainly to show you that this person with only 23 designs has managed to get a design that's appeared on the first page when you actually search a niche with over a hundred thousand things i said also don't expect to have the same sort of success with only 23 designs this is just to show you an example of what's possible but the aim is also to put up as many designs as possible which i will go on to talk about the next shop we have 
is this shot by Jai Quemv. I don't know if I've said that correctly, but as we get on the shop, you can see there's a lot of nursing related images that I'm taking that this person drew themselves. And one thing that they've done quite well is that they've taken a specific design, this pink heart stethoscope, and they've actually created this in multiple different versions. So we've got the pink one, we've got the yellow one, we have the mint one, which is like a light green, and we also have a purple one here and a few other designs. Now, when I tell people to create multiple designs, this is what I mean. It doesn't have to be with an image related sticker. It can be with text based sticker. You can create a black text, white text, yellow text, so on, so on. You get the drift, but this is a shop that's actually doing that quite well. And some of these designs have actually popped up on the first page when you search nursing. The third shop we have here is Jenna Flipper, as you guys can see here. Now, she doesn't have a lot of designs on the shop, but as you can see, the best selling item is an essential sticker. Now, now this will be in relation to obviously essential workers when that was a big thing in regards of things that were trending, things that were in the news. And this is probably how this person got this sticker selling so well. What they then want on to do is to create another version of that similar styled design, which isn't the best seller, but which I would assume might have even gotten some sales as well. But yeah, this is how simple it is to do if you can find a niche that you can actually go in depth into to find smaller sub niches within it. Now, Art of Happiness has a lot of different designs. They're not based on just nurse related designs particularly, but the best selling design is a nurse design that says nurse, I'll be there for you. And obviously this is a friend style design. And that's another thing people can do as well. It's important to mix niches. So for example, this won't go under the friends niche, but people that are nurses that are looking for nurse related designs that like friends might then buy this. So it's always good to kind of mix niches. It does help. And then finally, we've got this shop here, Alley Week, and the shop itself looks very professional. Banner looks professional, logo looks professional, and this is probably the standout shop when it comes to a professional look out of the shops that I've gone through. Now, when we go on the shop, you can see here, some of the best-selling designs are nurse-related designs. Let me just sort it by best-selling, just so you guys can see. As you can see, the best-selling designs on the shop are also nurse designs. We've got future nurse here. They've also gone into other niches, but what they've done that I really like is the fact that they created collections. Now, when you go on the collections here, you've got career collections, and if you click within that, they have designs or stickers, as you can see, that are linked to different job roles. So you've got a nurse, you've got a teacher, you've got a doctor, and this is why it's important to also use things like collections. I will go on to talk about that a little bit more in a moment. So yeah, there were five example Redbubble shops in the nurse niche that have been proven to do well as the designs from these shop actually show up on the first page of a niche with over 100,000 results. So all you want to be doing to have a chance of potentially ending up so high on a keyword with so many results is sub-niching and finding something, for example, like nurse grad with less than a thousand designs. And if you start getting sales within the sub-niche, you get pushed onto the big niche as well, as long as you're making sure you also have the keyword nurse in your tags. And for whatever niche you find or whatever trends you find, the principle is the same sub niche, but make sure you're using the main keywords in your tags. Now, if you're looking to create a shop that's similar to that or even better than the ones that I've shown you, here are three tips that you need to take on board. The first is that you want to create a professional looking banner and logo for your shop. Now you can do that for completely free through using photopeer.com. This is a site that allows you to create graphics in the same way as Photoshop for completely free. However, if you don't feel like you're someone who can create a really professional looking banner or look for your shop, you can go to sites like Fiverr where you will pay someone $5 and they'll make you a banner and a logo for your shop. The second thing would be that you want to create collections. So if you don't want to just focus on one niche and you want to focus on multiple niches, all different types of trends, 
collections will allow customers to easily find a topic that they're interested in and then finally consistency is key you need to consistently keep uploading designs to build momentum on your shop and in regards to photopeer and fiverr all the links will be down in the descriptions to that i recommend that if you are using these methods you aim to hit 100 designs before you give up or before you start questioning them and a quick bonus tip make sure that your redbubble account is linked to your Google Analytics account. And this will allow you to monitor the traffic on your designs so you can see which designs are performing better than others. Now at the start of the video, when I mentioned the four steps you need to be able to sell stickers well on Redbubble, I spoke about sticker packs. For anyone who doesn't know what they are, this is what they are. You should be able to see them on the screen now. And on sticker packs, you can put pretty much anything. If you find a niche, you can find a variation of things within that niche that you can create in your own way and put on a sticker pack. For example, if I sort this by best selling so we can see what the best selling sticker pack is on Redbubble, you see that the person has got pictures from the office. Now, I would not recommend anything like that as that would probably flag up under copyright at some point. So I wouldn't recommend making stickers in relation to the office. But on this one here on the second spot that says yellow sun pack, if I click on that, uh, you get an idea of what people do actually put on their sticker packs and what they look like. Now, as you can see here, there's a mixture of text related images and art based images and the spacing is great as well. As you can see there, there's enough space to make each individual image its own sticker which a lot of people don't actually get that right and it ends up coming in like an attached blob which is something you don't want but yeah to further kind of see what sticker packs look like on larger items i'm just going to go on a larger item there and as you can see there if someone is to go out and actually buy the sticker pack they'll be getting from what i can see there seven different images that they can stick onto whatever they want so sticker packs are very important to use and if you find a niche that has no sticker packs or a small amount of sticker packs on it if you're one of the first people to then implement sticker packs into that niche you notice that you will start to get a lot of traction whether that's through favorites and the sales will eventually come because at the end of the day if you're competing against a person that's selling one sticker and you have four stickers even if your sticker costs more than the other person's you're the one that's going to be more likely to get the sale i'm finishing off with margins profit margins on redbubble are very important and are different when it comes to a variation of products but with stickers i recommend you use between 60 to 100 percent in your margins mainly because that is what has worked for me when i first started my margins were set at the base which is around 20 percent when i started to get sales i mean i was getting profit but it it was only small profit but when I boosted up my profit margins to 60 I noticed that I was still getting sales and then within the future I ended up boosting them up to a hundred percent with some stickers even at hundred and twenty percent and yeah like I mentioned before with all the designs you create and everything you create try to do your best to have multiple versions mainly because you can end up having one customer buying more than one item which at the end of the day leads to you making more profit that is everything for today's video if you got any sort of value from this video make sure to drop a like rating as that would be very much appreciated remember if you want to be kept updated with information that could potentially help you to make some extra money online make sure to hit that subscribe button with notification bells turned on down in the description i also have a free print on demand starter guide alongside a paid step-by-step -step course that will also fast track you to print on demand success so if you're looking for any extra information make sure to check that out for those that have made it this far into the video down in the comment section comment down sticker money that is it for today's video always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success.